Clem. Clive? Oh, baby! What a crash! Lita! Looking good. The door opens just as it should. What a showman he is, and at his age. Well, that felt great, but how did it go? Barrier test, SAP, 65 kilometers an hour. Driver, you're completely okay. Yeah! Clive, alive! I knew it, even if the safety belt was tough. And the airbag! Too hard to break, and think he's still single. Well, the job is number one for him. <laughs> down, down, down. Knowledge saves lives, that's a fact. The more we learn about what actually happens in a crash, the safer the cars we can build. And the more lives we can save, and the more injuries we can prevent. Nothing is more important, and we always felt that way. I remember when I started at Volvo in 64. Everyone was so enthusiastic because we already knew that we were leading developments. In 59, the three-point belt became standard in Volvo cars. Now everyone has it, so there's a little bit of Volvo in every car. But what makes us different is the big picture. Not just inventions. It's the actual concept, something all the employees at Volvo share. Safety first, it's in our blood and in the walls. Clive, give me five. How's life? No brain, no pain. Knowledge is something that's passed on here at Volvo. Even if the youngsters today have advanced technology to help them. I had to learn the hard way, with no safety belt or airbag. You can't describe it, you have to experience it! Rock and roll! Nowadays the cars are crashed in computers first, so they are almost ready when we get the chance to test them. That's good, but it's no sport anymore. Now remember that this is going to be animated, so watch me. A demonstration! Slow motion, it has to look graceful. An inverted matrix, it has to look smooth. We don't want to frighten people, right? Hello there, are you the new whiplash girl Mary? Yes. Okay, I'm Clyde Bengtsson, safety representative for all of us pain researchers here at Volvo. Here it is. Are you okay back there? Just great. Are these curtains a Volvo invention? They sure are. And look at the small ones. It's a quick mover, but a bloke. Ah! Did you see the way he stared at that cheek? Yes, but she won't notice an old dummy like him. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to reality! It's in places like this that the softies find themselves in the kind of situations we practice every day at Volvo. But our research makes life easier for them. Hey man, look, it's our embassy. Yeah, cool. Of course, the most important thing is to avoid the accident. That's what we call active safety. A safe car always has to behave reliably and not surprise the driver. And that applies at every speed. So the chassis has to match the torsional stiff body right down to the smallest detail. Our really special rear axle takes care of things so you can relax. The wheels still react exactly as you expect on any road surface, so you can travel safe and secure. It would be best if crashes took place in slow motion, but we have to rely on electronics faster than the speed of thought when it comes to the softies anyway. When the roads are really slippery, our electronic traction control system is great. Loads of different sensors monitor the way the car behaves and break one or more wheels and stabilize the whole situation, like an invisible hand that keeps the car on the road. Passive safety, that's the protection a Volvo car gives softies like you if there is a crash. Demonstration! If I fall on the floor, that's like a crash at 7 kilometers an hour. But if I fall from here, that's the same as a crash at 15 kilometers an hour. 
Ooh, what the hell, man? Under the paint, the safety cage, world's most beautiful Volvo. 70 years of research combined absorbs the force. Smart, climb, alive, steering shaft collapses, brakes, real bends for all electronic tight events. I love this job. Eric adapting to match the force in the crash. Wham, bam, powder, one more. At the rear, jump the safe, compasses protect the neck with one more. Who's not that? Got the bird. We have a new. Research her at work. She's an expert on whip flash. Mary? Well, I choose the whip's training because it felt like something for the future, crashing from behind, you know. I think that's great. Oh, now I would just like to go on a really long trip. Where would you go if you could choose? Mm, design, I think. I mean, outside Volvo. Outside Sweden. Oh. Jumping from here corresponds to a crash at about 210. Our turbo goes even faster. Oh no, not me. I'm not jumping. <laughs> well, what do we do now? I don't know, actually. <laughs> but yes. I do know how they should sit in cars. Children are not small versions of adults. Just look at Ella, 14 months old. Look how big her head is in relation to the rest of her body. Under the age of three, her head could actually weigh as much as the rest of her body. In combination with the weak little neck, this makes it far too risky for her to sit in a car facing forwards. The only safe alternative is a rear facing seat. At the age of three or four, she will then be just as safe on a safety cushion wearing the standard safety belt. Volvo and me. I've been working on safety for so long that I kind of feel that many people think I'm sort of boring. I don't. You don't have to be boring just because you're clever. And I think you're ever so clever. Oh yes, but surely someone like you, so young and uncrashed, you can't <laughs> think that I'm especially good looking. No, but just think how many softies are still okay because of all the punishment you've taken. Oh, oh you have really sacrificed yourself for them. And that's why I think you're the loveliest man I know. Oh, Mary, will you go on a honeymoon with me? Why are they painting me? You have to make an impression on the airbag. Clive, I haven't done this before. It will be fine. Thank you.